Kevin at the Wind Power Surf Shop. Today we're going to do a video on how to put tie-on booms on and make them very tight. Um, we can make them so tight we can break the mask which we don't want to do. So we need to have a mask protector right here and that's going to go between the boom head and the mast. So I'm going to snap that on the mast and now I'm going to put the boom on. And we want to make sure that the uphaul is on the bottom, coming off the bottom of the boom. Uh, so now I'm going to put the boom on. This line that's going to tie it on is called the in-haul, okay, and it's really important that we have a good figure eight knot or stopper knot on the end, not a granny knot. It's got to be a uh, figure eight stopper knot, it's a bigger knot. Okay, so we're going to put that through the hole on the opposite side that the cleat's on. I'm going to put it through the hole. And keeping the uphaul out of the way, I'm going to wrap the line around the mast. Okay? So I'm going to go around several times. I like to get around about four times. My uphaul's out of the way. Okay? So now I'm going to come back up through the hole. And I can go through the cleat. And then I come back and a little trick I like to do, I like to tuck that underneath. Okay, so now you can see the lines are coming out right here underneath the mast. And when I, when I start lowering the booms, it's going to stretch these lines and make it really tight. So I want to make sure I'm in the cleat. So now I'm going to start raising the mast up tipping it up. And then you can see after I tip it up, my I can wiggle my boom. My boom is tight. Um, if my boom is hanging down, the back of it's hanging down, then I would want to tighten these lines up a little bit tighter. Okay, so if I want to make it tighter, I can just tip it down a little bit. And I can tighten the line up here a little bit farther in the cleat. Stick that underneath again. Okay, and up we go again. You can see the shim is going to be right on the front of the boom here. Okay. Now we have it just a little tighter and you can see how the lines are wrapped around and everything's really tight. The boom is going to be tight. So now at this point I'm going to lay the whole rig down, keeping the booms 90 degrees to the mast. I'm going to lay it down, keep keeping it 90. And now I'm going to put the outhaul on. In the outhaul, if the booms swing up, they're going to not be seated as good on the mat. Okay. Put the old hall on. I can stand the sail back up again. Now you can see uh, the booms need to be 
a little bit longer, but they're really tight on the mask. They're not wobbling up and down. They're nice and tight. Okay? So come up here and take a close up here. This is what we ended up with here. You can see how when I brought the boom down, it stretched the line out here and got it really tight. And my up hole's in the right spot. There we have it. Thank you. Get out and enjoy the wind.